Este es Ron con Anetcomputers.com. Otro video para ti hoy. Obviously, there's an error on screen. This is Windows 10 garbage. Wind blows 10 professional boot from CD, DVD, disk boot failure, insert system disk, and press enter. If I keep pressing enter, it's just same error. So, here's what might fix this. Now, this was after a Windows 10 update. I haven't had that many Windows 10 update problems since... I would say about a year, but I just recently installed Windows 10 1803. It worked, no major problems. Now, when I install this latest update, which I will make a video about, this will be a separate video showing you how to fix this problem. Is I got a warning saying someone else is using this computer, do you want to restart? I would click restart, it wouldn't let me. Then I hit the Windows 10 start button or logo in the lower left hand corner and try to restart. Same message. Someone else is using this computer. Are you sure you want to restart? I would select restart. It wouldn't restart. I had to do a control alt delete. You just hold down the, con the control alt delete key. Hold them down and then you'll get a pop up menu and then you choose the the power function. I'll describe it in the blog post. But when you do a control alt delete, when you're still in Windows, you'll get a blue pop-up window. And then you'll notice a power button in the lower right hand corner, a red power button. Click on the red power button and it allows you to either shut down or restart. I clicked on restart, same warning. Someone else is using this computer, are you sure you want to restart? I clicked restart and then it restarted. Well then when Windows 10 tried to boot back up it I was able to log in to my account then it said that the personalized settings was not responding and I did a control alt delete and then I was gonna go into task manager and kill it well I didn't even have to a window popped up asking me do want do I want to end the task I said yes and then I got a black screen and then I did a reset well not a a power reset a lot of desktop computers have a power button and a reset button now when I click the reset button I'm faced with this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the SATA cable and see if this quick little trick works so I'm gonna take this cover off and I'm gonna try to do it without well I might have to disconnect I don't want to disconnect cables I'm lazy I don't want to have to do that from my mixer board I might be able to just do it like this. Okay, so we got that. The hard drive is down here, so I'm just going to disk. I need to power off the computer first. I'm going to do that. And I probably i am going to disconnect the power cable. Come on. See? And I'm going to press the power button for a few seconds to get rid of any electrostatic discharge. And then I'm going to reseat the SATA cable and see if that fixes it. Sometimes these weird Microsoft errors are you can actually fix with the hardware. So I'm going to disconnect the SATA from the hard drive. And I'm going to disconnect it from both the motherboard and the... There we go. So I disconnected from the motherboard. And now... Let me reconnect it kind of hard to do this and hold an Android at the same time but all right now I'm gonna reconnect it come on there we go and we'll just I'm not worried about the cover right now I'll just put it like this I'll get to it later okay so now I'm going to put plug the power cable back in. And we'll see if it clears that error. I'm going to hit the power button. And we'll go over here to the monitor. And see what happens this time. I heard the BIOS post. The BIOS did post. Okay, so now it's asking for 
A post error occurs. Last known good. So I think I'm going to choose that. Last Is that for last known good configuration? CMOS checks some error. Defaults loaded. Wow. So we're just going to select this last known good. I'm not sure why I'm getting a CMOS error. BIOS posted again. Well, I did disconnect the power cable. And we'll see. Okay, I think it's going to boot now. Yeah, see? See? Now, believe it or not, I've ran into this problem before, so this is a gold tip. Don't panic. I probably should not have tried to kill that personalized settings, but... I noticed three strange occurrences already and it was sitting there forever at a black screen with a the with the mouse cursor and it just said personalized settings not responding and I was going to try to kill it and then sure enough the next time then the computer just sat there at a black screen with a mouse cursor for a long time I would give it a half an hour if you do see errors like that even the personalized settings, which is old school, that's way back from Windows 2000 at least, when you when you install updates, give it. I would give it at least 15 minutes to half an hour before you, you know, push the reset button. But we'll see if Windows will now boot, and I will even try to log in. I'm curious to see if this fixed. You know, that was weird that I got a CMOS error, but that was probably because I disconnected the power, and I tried to dissipate the any ESD I've got my green tea here I need to clean out the cup but green tea stains your your oh, green tea stain, stains are hard to get rid of I need to study that I would have to clean out my cup every day but green tea man I'm telling you you have to scrub the crap off. All right, so it looks like it's going to boot into the login prompt. This is normal for Windows 10. This was an update, and it, it might even revert back that update, which is fine by me. I haven't had that many issues with Windows 10 updates since, I would say, August of 2016. Now we're getting a... Yeah, I can see the hard drive light. Another thing you might want to do is, I don't know if you can see the reflection from that box. You see the blue light? That's the hard drive light. Or there's the hard drive light. A lot of computers have LEDs. Though This is the power LED. This is the hard drive LED. Now, when it's solid, it means that there could be many reasons why the light is solid. The hard It could just be the hard disk being accessed 100%. A lot of times they flash, or if you can, you can even watch the light. It'll blink every second, and that's when not much activity is going on. Or it'll it'll flash every few seconds, or it'll get brighter. That means that there's hard drive activity. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it, and I might even I don't want to sit here too long because these videos with this Android get quite large because I have it set to record at 720p. So we'll give it a few more seconds. Oh, so it is doing something. And now you can see the, we're back at the Windows login. Now the date is wrong. I noticed the date is incorrect. It's Monday. So, and the time is, is the time is correct, but the date is wrong. And if you notice, this happens to me a lot. It says that there is no internet connection, even though I have an internet connection. That's Microsoft. Even... I, it, it, I swear I have internet connection even though the stupid Windows networking claims I don't. So I'm going to hit enter. However, the hard drive light is solid. So this, is, this could have been the problem. I tried to sign in while there was a lot of activity. And I'm not even getting a login prompt. And this is diff This is different. I swear this background is a different one. There's a there's the airplane. You can change those if you know how if you know your way around Windows, you can change the background 
normally it's the airplane but I noticed with since I've had this problem I'm getting this background now now the hard drive light is still solid so instead of getting frustrated and emotional and impatient I think I'm gonna wait it out because I have a feeling that the fact that the hard drive light is solid something is using up the disk space so maybe I'm not sure I could try to log in but I swear maybe I'll try it once okay we'll see if it does anything it's really slow man I'm not surprised at all even if you run across a computer repair technician that claims that they know within 100 percent certainty that they are gods and they're experts and they're perfect and they never have problems with windows updates they're liars any any shill on youtube that tells you that oh well i've never had a problem with windows 10 updates they are fucking liars so we're getting the blank screen again this is what i saw before and then eventually up here would be the personalized settings which it doesn't always show up, but a lot of times personalized settings shows up after an update. But we're just getting a, a blank screen here. Now we did get a login prompt. And if you notice, I had my administrator account activated. So what I can always do is I'll wait another... You know what, I'm gonna, I don't want to fuck up this computer because I actually use it to record videos. So I think I'm going to... See, here it is there it is I told you I, I don't make shit up I don't make shit up I don't need to lie I don't need to lie to you and tell you oh well, I'm a Microsoft certified technician and I've never ever had problems with Windows updates that's a lie that's a big fat lie especially with Windows 10 so if you notice it's frozen up and you see the little circle you can move it and it'll even say not responding see personalized settings not responding this is the exact same thing that happened last time only this time I'm gonna leave it but I'm gonna give a half an hour or what I will do is I will monitor it and I'll be back and I just have all I have to do is concatenate these files I don't edit anything I just use Linux to concatenate the two separate video files because I don't want to sit here for 15 minutes or a half an hour but I'll be back when something changes Adios. For now. For now. I'm back pretty quick. That personalized settings box disappeared, if you notice. However, it's still at a blank screen with the cursor. Now, you can move your mouse. You can do a Control-Alt-Delete. And, and then get to this menu. And here, here's the button I was talking about. When you do a control alt delete you'll get the screen lock, switch user, sign out, change password, task manager. This is very useful if even if you're still signed into Windows and let's say there is a program that is out of control which happens a lot on micro crap, micro shit, micro slop wind blows operating systems. You can go into task manager and end that process or whatever. You can also do a reboot. This is the power button you just click on that but this computer is is like frozen up the the hard drive light has been mostly solid all this time so you click the power button and you'll get to see the update hasn't been installed yet this is what I was talking about update and restart well but why let me cancel oh, okay now it's at the desktop I don't in my opinion I think the update failed because why did I see that menu option? And if you notice, it's taken a long time to build the pro the login profile. This has taken forever. Normally, I would already see icons down here. So this is, in my opinion, the update failed. 
The hard drive light is still solid. I'm looking down to my right. I can see it's still solid. And I don't even know if I can... Nope, I can't. See, I can't do anything. I can't. Nothing works yet. You just get this solid... If you notice, Apple also uses that the similar logo, but whatever. Okay, so now I'm getting the taskbar, but, well, the taskbar, the, the menu at the bottom. Now, does anything work yet? No, it's still pretty slow. The hard drive light is still solid. The taskbar, but I, what about the right-hand side? The Oh, now the date is fixed itself. It says it's Tuesday. This is normal, but I don't want you to necessarily know what I'm running. So I'm going to just click on... I'll just... I've got some free widgets, and i got a little magnifier that that I set to start up with Windows. There's an Adobe Flash player. We may as well download it while I'm here. I don't recommend using Adobe, Adobe Flash, Java, or security risks on Windows computers, but this is why I update Flash. I don't, I don't leave old versions of Adobe Flash or old versions of Java installed on my computers ever. The only reason why I have Java installed is because one application I use requires it. Adobe Flash Player, there's basically one or two websites I have to use that require Flash that doesn't work with, with HTML5 web browsers and somebody slammed the door downstairs but it wasn't nearly as loud as it once was so I'm not worried about that one but that could change throughout the day the knuckleheads that slam doors in this building that could change later on today uh, so I'll just click update now and it will download the update and we can run it I would not recommend well I don't recommend anything Adobe Flash Player Java they are security risks there are security vulnerabilities. They've always been. So it looks like we're at the desktop, but I want to save it because I'll do this later. I don't want to... Okay, it's finished downloading. I don't, I don't need to upgrade Adobe right now. I just thought since it prompted me, I'll, I'll deal with that later. All right, so it looks like we're at the desktop, but I really think that that update failed, and the hard drive light is still solid. So what we can do is, let's see, let, I think the update failed, so I'm going to go into settings. Oops, that's the wrong one. Overall, the computer seems a little bit slow and sluggish. This is taking longer. Now we'll go into update and security, and I bet you that update didn't get installed. This is slow, I mean... Come on. Here, what we can do is we can go into Task Manager. It's checking for updates. The hard drive light is still solid. I might have to shut down the Windows 10 once, get it to shut down successfully once, and maybe that'll fix it. Computers are very strange. They're very finicky. Sometimes they just learn. We can go into Task Manager, but I'm afraid it's going to... I can't even... It, it might take a while to load because the hard drive seems like it's really maxed out. Come on. All right, so we are able to load Task Manager. I'm a bit surprised. It'll just be really slow. But I want to show you that I'm not making shit up. The fucking hard drive is being maxed out. Because the, the hard drive light is solid. Usually that's an indicator that the hard drive is being pegged. Something is, re is reading and or writing to the hard drive. Even this is slow.
memory. See, I told you I don't make shit up. I don't. I don't need to lie to you. Look. The disc is 100%. You do not want that. You can cause a lot of other problems with a disc that's at 100%. So what I'm going to... I heard somebody slam a door again. Too, too straight, but it's a lot quieter than it once was, but still, it's annoying, at least to me. Now, I'm trying to figure out what is taking... What is causing the disc to... Total utilization across all physical drives. I only have one drive. I only have one physical hard drive. And it's maxed out. Now why is that? So let's see. What we can do is... The only thing... Microsoft.net framework... What we can do is we can start killing some of these processes that are not necessary. I, Microsoft Pay. I didn't load Microsoft Pay. So I'm going to kill Adobe Acrobat because I don't need that. I already downloaded the update. I'll run that later. Whoops, you can see outside the window, although you can't really see outside because I have bubble wrap. Microsoft Pay, I didn't install that crap. I don't know where that came from. So we'll kill that. Anything else I can kill here? see oh settings why is setting well I did open up settings it's still at 100% so let's go into settings it's still checking for updates this normally doesn't take that long so I'm not sure what is causing 100% total utilization on this hard disk app history performance it's a quad core detail services what else can we try here? Hmm. Point to task manager. I'm not sure. The CPU time is pretty good. Even the memory, 20%. I've, I think I have 8 gigs of memory on this computer. What else could we try? But the disk is at 100% disk utilization, man. That's not good. No, that's that. Now, believe it or not, malware, spyware, adware, viruses can cause 100% disk utility. But I don't think I'm infected. All I did was install the latest update, and I'll ch show you which one it was. It was, it wasn't this one that caused the problem. It's this one right here. 4, 10, 37, 21. Other updates? Now, there were three total updates. This was, this one installed today. The cumulative update, 4, 10, 37, 21. I was going to make a video. I was just going to make a video report saying, oh, this update was released and here's what was in it. Well, until my computer just turned into a nightmare. Now, now, do you understand why I don't allow automatic updates and I, and I control the updates? Because you never know when, when a Microsoft Windows update will fuck up your computer. And then this is the Adobe Flash Player update. So these are normal. Almost, yeah, I would say about every month you'll get three updates now from Windows 10. You'll get the Windows Militia software removal tool. You will get a cumulative update, and you'll get a Adobe Flash Player update. These all successfully install, so I was wrong, but something, something is causing the hard disk to 100% utilization. So I have to figure out what, what is causing this. Because this, you do not want to use a computer with 100% CPU utilization, 100% memory, or 100% disk because it just it can it can further cause problems you you think it's harmless but no something is causing the hard disk to get read either read write or both something is reading to the disk at a high percent or something is writing to the disk 
or both. So what shall I do? We could go into Event Manager, and let's see, we can try that. Things are going to be slower, though. We can type in Event Manager, Event Viewer. See how it, you see how slow it is. Everything will turn slow now because the disk is being used a hundred percent. So anytime the hard disk has to get accessed, it's going to take longer now because something is hogging it. But that's Microsoft, man. I'm I'm being I'm being straightforward. If there's any technician out there that claims they've never had a problem with Windows 10 updates. They're liars. They are lying to you. They want you to think that they're an expert and they are a god or a goddess and nothing ever bad happens to them. They're liars. This happens every day. On a third-party website where I earn supplemental income, every day, oh yes, every day I log into the queue, somebody is complaining of a Windows 10 update that fucked up their computer. Every day. And some days it's like... You know, some days it, it gets ridiculous. You'll see five or ten issues. Or I, I don't monitor the queue all uh, 24 hours. I only spend a couple of hours on this website. Because the return on investment isn't very high. I'm, you know, it's not like I'm a millionaire. So even Event Viewer is slow. So what we can do is we can go under probably applications and services or how about windows log and then we'll pick application what I could do is I could uninstall that update you see how slow this is I mean nothing nothing see nothing even shows up yet you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna try to shut it down I'm not even gonna waste time with this bullshit I'm going to shut it down and see if, look at this. What, what is this? Waiting for all snap-ins to complete? You see how sl slow everything is now? You have to wait for this shit. <laughs> I'm surprised Task Manager even works that fast. Well, what, something popped up. Yep, see now there's an error with the snap-in. See? You see how one... One small Windows update can can fuck up all kinds of shit. And then if you notice the hard disk is still at 100% and it has not changed, so I'm going to do a shutdown. We're just going to do a shutdown and see if the shutdown will fix it. The hard drive is still pegged at 100%. Generally, the light indicator, if it's solid, it it's generally means that the CPU utilization, or excuse me, the hard disk utilization is going to be close to 100%. And look at the light is still solid. There. It finally shut off. So now I'm going to power it on, and we'll see if when it tries to boot Windows, if the, if the hard drive light changes from us from solid to you know blinking or no nah. but a solid I'm looking at the screen okay now it's booting windows but now the the light is solid oh no it did it did disappear okay now we'll show you the screen now I think the light is solid again Yeah, I'm looking down to my right. Now, sometimes when Windows boots, it will use quite a bit of the hard disk space because it has to. But, yeah, see? It, it's, it's the same shit. You get a, a, a black screen or a blank screen with the cursor, and then, you know, you get the little progress circle, but then the, the hard drive light is solid. 
and now look how slow this is so I think it's probably that update let me show you the it's salt the light is solid again so what we can try is signing in now here's the normal here's the on my Windows 10 this is where I normally the background I normally see is this this the airplane If you notice the background changed and now the date is correct and the time so you have all these problems based off of one little piddly link piddly wink dipshit micro crap micro slop micro shit windows 10 update i mean it's it's a fucking joke now if you notice this is a another gold tip you probably it might be productive for you to enable the administrator account did i make a video i might have made a video or a blog post if i haven't uh, that i I've got hundreds if not thousands of videos in my mind that I don't have time to make. But you might want to, it, it's going to error out because I didn't enter a password. You might want to enable the administrator account just in case. Just in case you run into problems like this or in case your Windows profile gets corrupt. Now Cortana is working because it has internet. I'm going to sign in this, but it's, it's slow. But yeah. You might want to enable the administrator account. By default, it's not configured. And then we're going to see this, but... Now, it seems like it's, a, it's speedier now. So I don't know if it's recovered now. We'll see. This is normal when I first log in. I've got a couple of, of little programs that I have set for startup. And it, it is normally kind of a little bit slower. Now, you notice the taskbar icons showed up quicker this time. And these are already propagated. And I'm going to wait a few minutes. Well, not. This video is already really long. I'm going to wait a few seconds here and see if the hard drive light disappears. This is slow. My little weather widget. I don't. I don't like with the Windows weather. I don't like their app. I've got. I found my own weather widget, and even that one is slower, slower than normal. But yes, yeah, sometimes. Yes, I already. I always see that message. Sometimes, on Windows, you will have 100% hard disk utilization. That's not out of the realm of possibility. But it should not be constant. It should not sit there for a minute, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. No, it should not sit there with 100% utilization. Now, I'm going to go into Task Manager, and we'll see if it's still pegged. The hard drive light is solid. Now, sometimes on Windows, when you open up an application, the hard drive will go solid. But then once the application is open, the hard drive light won't be solid. Nope, see, it's 100%. So it's most likely the process of elimination. The only change I made today was I installed that Windows 4, that update I just showed you. That's the only change I made. I have not upgraded the Adobe Flash Player. I have not upgraded any other software. I only installed those three updates. The, the Windows 10 Adobe Flash update, the cumulative, the, the three that I showed you. You know what I'm saying? And look, the hard drive is 100% utilized. This is not good. This could cause further problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can remove that update that I just installed. <clears throat> okay, so we'll go into update and security. And this is slow. And I don't want to check for updates because that'll just waste more time. I'm going to go into view update history. These are the three. One of these are the culprit, but in my opinion, it's this one. Knowledge base 4103729. It could be the cumulative update. It could be the malicious software removal tool 
or it could be the, well, my bad. It could be the Adobe Flash Player. It could be the Cumulative Update. It could be the Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool. In my opinion, it's going to be this one, the 4.10.37.29. Well, no, no, the Cumulative Update. I could be wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I, now up here, there's a but, there's a link up here. Uninstall updates. Click on that. And I'm going to un uninstall the cumulative update. And this takes you to programs and features. And then now I'm going to security update for Microsoft Windows 10, which is, yes, that's the one I want to remove. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to uninstall it and then it and then I'm going to say yes. Please wait while the updates are being uninstalled. This might take several minutes. Well, with the goddamn hard drive that is at 100% optimize 100% utilization, yeah, it could take several minutes. Thanks a lot, motherfuckers. Thanks a lot for ruining my day now. We can, what we can do is we can close this shit because this, that's just going to just pile on top of everything else. Let's see if I, I can't close that window. I might even go into task manager and see if I can kill some other processes that might be running that I can kill the dumb bonjour service. I need to look into that. Why is bonjour, and bonjour, you, you have to use bonjour so that you can use iTunes. I don't know why the fuck bonjour is on my Windows 10 computer. I did look into it briefly. Let's see, I can get rid of the Google crash handler, anything to try to speed this up. I can also go into task manager. No, not task manager. Uh, it's not going to let me. Windows Explorer. Oh, there we go. Choose switch to. No, no, I didn't want that. I want to try to. Nah, it won't let me. I don't think it'll let me. I want to try to elevate the... What you can do on a process in Windows is you right-click it, and then you... Oh, that won't let me. How about this one? No, that's a service. No, I don't... No, 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 no. No. No, come on, motherfuckers. Here. Here. My, see, look. Why is Microsoft Edge running five times? Why? I did not open up Microsoft Edge. See, look at the... It says suspended. I never opened up Microsoft Edge. Why is that running at Windows Startup? This is th my beef with this piece of shit tech company called Microsoft. It's the worst computer company on the planet. It is nothing but garbage. I would never work for that shitty ass corporation. And on top of that, they're liars. Their marketing is nothing but lies. They tell you how great Windows operating system is when it's not. It's it's the opposite. What you can do on some services is you right click it and then you go to details. And then fuck it. Fuck it. See, see, okay, it's almost done. It's almost done. It's probably better. See, see what happens? Yeah, now Task Manager just died. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll see if my premise is correct and this cumulative update is the culprit and is causing 100% hard disk utilization, which I wouldn't. You you are, if you continue to use a computer with 100% memory utilization, 100% CPU utilization, 100% or 100% or hard disk utilization, you are asking for a quagmire. You are asking for it. You're just going to cause further problems. And the trivecta is if you get a computer with 100% memory utilization. 100% CPU utilization, 100% hard disk utilization. 
Well, that's the trivecta, and get ready because that computer, especially if it's running Windows, it's about ready to blow up, and you are going to cause further so many problems that you know what I'm saying. Hurry the fuck up, man. This is going to be a one hour video because of this bullshit from micro shit, micro slop, micro crap. You understand why I do not rely on this garbage, on this piece of shit operating system? Microsoft has never been reliable, never. I've been using Microsoft products since DOS 6.22. Windows 95 was an utter disaster. Windows 2000 was a disaster before they rolled out the service packs. Windows XP was a disaster until they rolled out the service packs. Windows Vista should have never been released until the service packs. Windows 7, the first version of Windows 7 was a disaster until they released service pack 1. Windows 10 has been nothing but a disaster from the very beginning. These updates are constant. Now I'm going to click on restart now. And we shall see if this fixes the goddamn fucking solid hard drive light, which is an indicator that the hard disk is being utilized 100%, which is not no bueno, muy mal. Working on updates. So it's going to go through and it's going to remove the update. Suffer that consequences when you use a computer with 100% hard disk utilization and you think that you can just continue on. Wrong. Something's going to break eventually. You notice a lot of the quirks that I pointed out to you? That's all caused by a hard disk that is being overutilized. It could be a bug in their code. That's all it could be. There could be some bug in the cumulative update 410. What was it? 410, 32, 71 or something like that. Yeah, that's all it takes. And it's using too much of the hard disk. Why? Why? Why is it using 100% of the hard disk? And with Microsoft, they're secretive. And a lot of times it's very hard to even troubleshoot. It's, it's, it's hard root cause analysis. It's hard or impossible to come up with root cause analysis what process is using up the hard disk so much what process is causing 100 percent hard disk utilization on wind blows micro crap micro shit micro slop now let's see it's gonna the 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 hard drive light is still solid i don't you're not going to see that change until in my opinion, it, it will rectify itself as soon as the computer restarts, if it ever does. Okay, now it's restarting, and we'll see if my premise is correct or not. Okay, it's trying to boot Windows now. Okay, look. Look. Here. See? It's booting. Okay, now. Now, you should see the light. It shouldn't be solid the entire time. It'll, it should disappear eventually. See? It's still, it's still starting up. But I think when, once it gets to the login prompt, see, it's starting to flicker. Once it gets to the login prompt, I think it should not be solid anymore. It's still booting up Windows. Now it's got a different indicator. It's very slow. Normally it doesn't take this long to boot up. 
Come on, motherfucker. All I did was install three Windows updates. And now it's taken forever. This is why I do not... I do not rely on Microsoft products. Never. There it goes. Finally, now it's going to have the, the blank screen with the cur okay getting windows ready don't turn off your co okay this might be why it's taking longer because i i removed that update so it has to go back and reset itself so this might be why it's a longer boot however the hard drive light is still solid so maybe it may i could be wrong and maybe it is one of the other updates oh there i told you what did i tell you it did disappear it did disappear for like a second. So now, see, it ha it's working on updates. Jesus fucking Christ, you motherfuckers. This is why I do not rely on Microsoft products ever. Look at, look at this bullshit. Look at how much time these motherfuckers are wasting of mine. I got shit to do. I've got videos to make. I was going to make one video, a one minute video telling you what was in this n newest update and now look we're I'm already at 33 minutes on this segment of this video the first segment I think was 20 we're already approaching an hour I have wasted close to a fucking hour trying to fix Microsoft's fucking piece of shit operating system their updates are nothing but a disaster Working on updates, 100% complete. All I did was uninstall the old update. I removed 4.10.32.71. All I did was uninstall, but look how long it takes. Linux, no. Linux, all you do is yum, remove, and then whatever you're installing. Or apt, get, remove, and that's it. I don't even know if, if Mac updates are this problematic when you uninstall them. But look at this. It was one update and look at how long it takes just to uninstall it. Okay, now let's see if the... Now look at the background. You notice how it changed again? It went back to the lake. Where is the airplane? And then this always indicates... It always, it's a false positive. I do have internet connection. And it looks like I'm wrong. The, the hard drive light is still solid. So it could be one of the other updates. So what I'm going to do is this, this video is going to be is going to take forever to upload. You mother, you goddamn motherfuckers. This is why I fucking hate Microsoft. And this is why I do not rely on them. I have one Windows 10 computer. That's it. I have a Windows 7 machine. That's it. I have Windows X, uh, Windows Vista. See, I keep all versions of Windows because I have to still support Microsoft to make a living. But I don't rely on their products. I have Linux. My data recovery computer is a it runs Linux. But look at this bullshit. Look. Uh, one set of updates is fucking using up the the entire hard disk constantly. Look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this segment of the video and I'm going to uninstall the other two updates and I'll and I might tell you I might report back and tell you which one fixed the problem. Quick update. I removed the Adobe Flash update. Now if you notice here, it will not let me remove. So I removed the Adobe Flash Player Knowledge Base 4103729. I removed the knowledge base 4103721 it will not let me remove this one I don't know why it is if you click on uninstall updates the Windows malicious software removal tool which is knowledge base 890 830 it will not it doesn't show up so you cannot remove it that uninstall a program it doesn't list it and that's proven earlier in the video so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a reboot but I'm not gonna video graph any of that if removing the two updates that I could remove 
I might look into to see if I can remove this one. I'm going to do a system restore. So what you would do is just type in system into a search system. See, see how slow everything is now for me? I, I can't use this computer at all. Not Now it's too slow. System. No, I got shit to do. I've, I'm an affiliate marketer. I also earn money answering computer questions for a couple hours, and I can't have a machine that has 100% hard disk utilization. Look at the hard disk light. So when I removed the Windows update that I thought would fix it, I was wrong. Oh, the, the light, the look, the light finally disappeared. Look. You know what? It might be the second update that I removed. Finally, look, finally. Now, that's normal. That, to me, is normal. Now, when you open up an application, yeah, the hard disk light will go solid for a couple of seconds, even a minute if it's a really big application. However, once the application is open using the random access memory, it should not have to read and write from the hard disk so much so this is normal and if you if you notice there's like kind of a blink pattern blink every second or whatever this is normal so I think I fixed the issue but I want to make sure that I'm certain so I'm gonna do a reboot and I will videograph that this is gonna be a fucking long ass video that's gonna take forever to upload to YouTube but this is real world experiences these are real world problems that the tech channel shills on YouTube, they refuse to talk about. They just brag up about how great Microsoft is. So I removed two of these Windows updates, the Adobe Flash Player and the other one earlier in this video, and I will document it all. So you'll know which ones you need to remove. It caused my computer... It, did you see the error at the very beginning of this video? I had to reset the SATA cable to get to even be able to boot. Okay, so I'm going to do a reboot now that the hard drive light finally disappeared. And we'll reboot. Oh, yeah, look. Now, let me go into Task Manager and I'll prove it to you. See? That's normal. It's normal for, it's normal for these numbers to change. It's normal, but it is not normal... For your hard drive to be utilized at 100%. You do not want to continue to, in my opinion, you don't want to continue to use a computer when the hard disk utilization is a constant 100%. You are asking for a fucking disaster. And now I, I'm going to reboot just to be certain that I fixed the problem. And then I will document it. And I... I don't recommend anything, but I would not install these last two updates if I were you. I would be very hesitant. And I'm going to have to do some research and figure out why and what, what is causing the disk to get used. Finally, I can wrap up this fucking video. And I can get go back to using this computer. I, I will even show you as it's booting what's normal so as soon as it tries to boot Windows 10 and it's okay now I'm gonna go down here okay so you see the you see the hard drive light it's just flickering but it's not you know it's solid but you know Windows is is booting up so that's not out of the realm of possibility however it should not be a constant solid light as soon as you log into Windows. Okay, it's already... Now, I did remove another update, so this might take longer than normal. So, but as soon as I remove that flash update for Windows 10 the hard disk light was no longer solid so we'll just be patient with this okay well now we get back to the airplane and now the hard disk light will just give it a few more seconds here
and see. If not, if this doesn't fix it, then I perform a system restore and I just say fuck it. And I will restore it back to be before today. And I won't be installing those updates anytime soon until I investigate further why the fuck. Okay, maybe I have to log in. This is slower because the hard disk so light is solid, which means most likely it's at 100% utilization. Okay, that, you see how fast that was? You see? Look. All the taskbar icons are already... Now these... That's normal for my computer for, for it to take a few more seconds for the, the icons over here because I've got a couple of processes in the background that have to load. But the hard drive light is, is solid. I don't know why it disappeared for a while. Maybe you have to, maybe I have to give it a little while to let to let it to sign in. But I swear, as soon as I remove the Adobe Flash Player update for this month, the hard disk light was no longer solid. Yeah, come on, come on, hurry up! I don't have all day. Come on, motherfucker! The audio service is not running. But see, you see all these problems that get caused by 100% hard disk utilization. So let's see, it's, come on. Come on. We can go into task manager. This is slow, look, look at this shit. There, it's, it's at 100% again. So I was wrong, I don't know why. As soon as I removed that other update, this went, I showed you, I proved it to you on video. So I don't know why it spiked up again. So I'm going to just say fuck this bullshit. This is not normal on my computer. I normally don't see 100% disk utilization. Not this long. I mean, look at this. I, I'm already logged in. Look at the sound service still hasn't w worked. See? You see what can, what, you see what fucking Microsoft causes? I have to have the sound service working so I can make fucking videos, you motherfuckers. So I'm going to cut to the chase and I'm going to just do a system restore. I don't have time for any more of this bullshit. No more of this bullshit, man. I'm just going to cut to the chase. Create a restore point. And then I'm going to restore this computer back to before these last couple of updates, which have been nothing but a fucking disaster. The sound service still hasn't started. I mean, give me a fucking break. Click on System Restore. Click Next. Oh, wait a minute. I got to go back. Select this option. All right. 12, 20 p.m. Yeah, let's see. No, I have to go back further because I removed two updates. So I have to go back further. I want to go back to yesterday. Yeah, we'll, we'll choose the 13th. Now, there's another button. So I could go back even further. Now, if you notice the Windows April 2008 features update, that didn't fuck up my computer, but this last one did. The Windows modules installer from today. And I will document that all in the blog post. So click in, click on the link in the description box below that will take you to my website at anetcomputers.com with all the details. So I'm going to restore it back to the 13th. And I'm going to click Next. It's going to require a reboot. And I'm not going to videograph that. That will fix the issue. Because I'm restoring the computer back to before these last two or three updates that just completely fucked up my computer. The sound service still has not started. And eventually it will reboot. Come on. Come on, motherfucker. I don't have time. It's already wasted over an hour of my time. Come on. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, it's going to take longer because 
the hard disk light is still solid and there's still 100% hard disk utilization. So I'll close that window. I don't need that. I can also I could open task manager, but that could just cause further problems. I'm gonna kill this fucker. I don't need that running. What else? I can I can kill some of this shit just to try to speed this up if it'll even do any good. Sound service is not running yet. Audio service not running. And so this is gonna take longer than normal for system restore because the fucking hard disk is at 100% utilization, and that is. And I know for a fact that is why the audio service is not running because that's what happens when either memory or CPU or hard disk is at 100% utilization. And if you get the trivecta, just look out. Look out because <laughs> back the fuck up. Look, back the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up by Windows. Microsoft is the worst tech company on the planet they are they're they're liars they're incompetent they're capitalistic whores they're in bed with the government they're in bed with the nsa there are a million reasons why i fucking hate microsoft back the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up by windows 10 updates you know what i'm saying this is constant i know for a fact i make a living off of fixing Windows problems and Mac problems and once in a while Linux problems. Every day on a third-party website where I spend, some days I spend four hours. It depends on how much money I can make. Anywhere from one to four hours every day, I sign into a third-party website where people ask for help with their computer problems. Every day I see, every day I see requests for people seeking help for Windows 10 updates because Windows 10 just completely fucked up their computer. It won't start. Boot loop. Blue screen. Or or what I'm having to deal with. Now, I'm not going to videograph the rest because this is going to take too long. This will fix the problem. Adios.